Hello friends, welcome to Python programming tutorials. In this class, we are going to discuss about unit testing in Python. So, what is a unit testing? The process of testing whether a particular unit is working properly or not is called unit testing. A unit test checks small component in your applications. So that means you are write a program. In that program, you are going to check each function. So that we are called as a unit testing. Now we can discuss with one example. So for example, as a sum of list 1, 2, 3 equals to equals to 6. So assert is nothing but assumption. You are writing a program. Your assumption of sum of 1, 2, 3 is 6. So how we can check that means by using assert keyword. So this is the keyword. In this case, assert sum of 1, 2, 3 equals to equals to 6. What is the sum of this? The sum of this list is 6. So it don't show any error. But coming to same instruction, I am changing as 1 comma 1 comma 1. The sum is 3 equals to equals to check. So it is failed. So it returns an error. The error name is assertion error. That means the programmer assumption is wrong. The programmer assumption is 6. But the actual output is 3. That is the testing. Testing is nothing but the actual value comparing with the assumption value. That means expected value. Okay. So now we can see that convert these instructions into small functions. How I am defining two functions. One is sum1. Another one is sum2. DEF test sum2. In these two functions, I am going to write the same instructions. One is asset asset sum of 1 comma 2 comma 3 equals to equals to 6 same instruction asset sum of 1 comma 1 comma 1 equals to equals to 6 now I call these two functions one is test sum 1 another one is test sum 2 when I call it test sum 1 this is executed there is no error but coming to this one, we get the error. What is the error name? The error name is assertion. The error name is assertion error. Okay. So now, we are going to check these units by using unit testing in Python. So now we see the steps involved in unit testing. The first step is import unit test from the library. And second one, so create a class and this class is inherited from test case that means the what is the second step create a class for test and inherit unit test dot test case this is the predefined class this class will be inherited to the new test class and third step is write the test functions in the class so what are the functions you are going to test those functions you are going to write in this class. So next one, call unit test dot main. So the third step we are called as a writing the test cases and fourth step we are called as a running the test cases. Now we are going to write the test cases for this problem. So now we see how we can write the test cases for this program. So what is the first step? The first step is import unit test. So I write import unit test. So what is the second step? So create a class for test. So for example, my class name is test sum. So test sum is my class name. And it is inherited from unit test dot test case.
that's it so what is the third step the third step write the test functions in the class so what are the functions so these two are the functions we are going to define so def test someone self self dot asset there is a asset equal also asset equal sum of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 6 that means this sum becomes 6 then the assertion will be true so what is another function this is another function def test sum to self self dot asset equal sum of 1 2 2 comma 6 now so this is the write the test functions in the class we write the these are the writing test functions okay now the last step is called the unit test that means you are going to run these tests so how so last call is so how we can write that so call unit test main that's it so that means here i write unit test dot main that's it now it returns from error the error is assertion error assertion error so how we can overcome this assertion means by making this as a 3 or you make this sum as a 5 okay in both the cases all the assertions are true then you don't get any error so we can see all these in our practical session so this is about unit testing in python i hope you all are understand so what is our unit testing in python and how to write test cases and how to run these tests in the python now we see the execution of the program so we get the assertion error and here we don't write any test cases now we can see how to write the test cases so this is the unit testing in python sir so ran two tests we get assertion error here okay so now we can change that so 1 2 2 the assertion here i change it to 6 from 5 now we can execute this ran two tests in 0 0.043 yes that means we don't get any error if you get the error if you change the assumptions assertions then we then we get the error so f status is failed and before it is okay i hope you all are understand unit testing in python